Hey everyone, this is Edison. Um, it's winter break, almost 9 at night where I am in LA. Still in my pajamas. Good stuff. So I'm going to give you a tutorial on Business Time by Flight of the Concords. Amazing song, as I'm sure you know if you've found this video. Um, so it's kind of objective. There are a couple of different ways that you can play or you can mix up the different little things they play. I'll show you a couple. First off, you're going to need to know a couple of basic bar chords. I'll show you. You want to put your index finger all across the all across the strings on the third fret. It should sound like that. Then you take a your ring finger and your pinky and you put them on right over there. So two frets up from that on the fourth and fifth string. You get the idea. And uh, one other position you're going to need to know for the song is uh, that position I just showed you, except now you've got your middle finger down on the third string, one fret up from the bar. That's a G chord. The one I showed you before, that right there, G minor. So, it's easier without a pick for me, so. That's the basic, the root chord in the song. At some parts, uh, they go like that, where if they take that position, the G I just showed you, except they're in the first fret, then the second fret, and then to a G minor. So it's just to hit that there, slide up one to the F sharp, and then there's this position, which is like I just showed you there, the G, except all those fingers move them down a string, should sound like this. That is a D minor, I believe. Sorry. Why did I say D minor? It's a C minor. Yeah. <laughs> C minor. Then slide it up two frets to the D minor. So, one way to sort of play the, you know, the whole thing he does where he's talking and, you know the song, I'm sure. I like to play it like this. Sorry. Basically, using the G minor over here as your root chord. See that right there? Yeah. Try to get my middle finger out of the way. And you throw in the F to F sharp and then G minor thing. Or the C minor to D minor and back to G minor. So it's just a listen to the song, hear however you want to play it, because it's kind of unclear. Parts in the song he switches it up plays differently than he does in other parts of the song. So it's just basically whatever sounds right to you. But you've seen the way I like to play it. And you can play it that way if you want. But one part that's not disputed is trying to 
say it, it's not the business. So, yeah, I forgot the words for a second. I was too busy playing. So you're playing the G minor there, right? C minor. It's business. It's business time. Back to G minor. And then you, you did that thing right there, like. Right there. So, mm, there you can see it from there. -ish. Barring this fret right here, the fourth, or sorry, third fret, barring the third fret, and it's, uh, have my pinky on the second string in that fifth fret, and ring finger on the fourth string in that fifth fret. The way you play the verse essentially, but then you go. As far as I can show you, you gotta experiment with what sounds right. And also, please don't bug me about the strumming because I'm self taught. I don't know the names of any different uh, strumming patterns that they teach in guitar classes and stuff. So, all I can tell you is this. You want to mute it, which means you have your fingers in that position, the G minor position, right? Except you're not pressing down. You're just holding your fingers on the strings, on top of them, not pressing down. And that'll get you this. And then you press, you just keep doing that. Up, down, up, down, up, down, so. Basic strumming, up and down. But you only press down when you want it, when you want the noise. So, so it's basically beat, beat, space, beat, beat. I don't know how to explain that in music terminology, but da 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 da. I don't know, but anyways. Just up and down strumming, and then it's just yeah. Press down when you want the sound, and that applies to every chord position as well. But um, yeah, there's my tutorial, and uh, hope it helps. I do read all my comments. I don't respond to all my comments because that's a pain in the ass. But I do also read all my messages, and I respond to. A good portion of them, I'll say. So if you really want to get in touch with me, so I should do it. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching.